Welcome back to We Care A Lot. I'm half the podcast, Mel. And I'm the other half, Sam. Hey, we're What's back. Up? I feel like we're coming back really tan, too. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> Our job was beach for a minute, you know? Like, I literally have a sunglasses tan right here. No way. My nose? Yeah. Barely. Not you look barely. like just a little burnt in that little section. Yeah, I need to yeah, fix that. Anyways... <laughs> Um, but welcome back. We are coming back at you with a little episode. What are our notes on this? We have no notes. We're just rambling, to be honest. <laughs> uh, okay, so... Well, maybe we start there. So we did go to the beach like three times. And then we were like, yeah, let's take pics. And then we were like, yeah, I'm definitely going to post something. And then we were like, our job is beach. But then it probably should have been influencer Content. era again. <laughs> and you know, here we are. And we I did went. post, but it was not from photos we took or anything. It never is, you know. But that lady, that lady that came upon us and took a pic of us. That needs to get posted. That that, that looks, that's a good pic right there. It's definitely going to be up on my page soon. Don't ask me. <laughs> super vague. And if we both have the same picture, mind your business. Mind your fucking business. Follow us both because maybe mine's slightly different. <laughs> she only took three pics. Maybe she's filtered. I don't know. Ooh. But anyway, um, yeah, I think, I don't think I have an online identity at the moment. Right. So today's topic, online identity, it, it's just, we, it's hard to decipher what your own online identity is because it's like, it's me. Yeah. I'm with myself every day. What do the people online think about me? Yeah. And you know, that's kind of an issue. I think but... I'm also having like a hard time with like, what do I want to share? Because mm. I think when I was like younger, I would just post like all this like random shit that I like saw throughout the day <laughs> right or like the things i mean yeah it was like stuff that i enjoyed but it was like it was just like sometimes the day yeah so i'm like is that what is that what we're doing i mean yeah i feel like you have more of an identity sorry my eyes are bugging out don't mind me do you have allergies no it's just uh-huh. like I, you don't know it's not classified yet you oh. know it's not diagnosed I don't know what, what do you is. mean <laughs> like I the like, itch or no it's not itch it's just kind of like but they feel funny yeah Maybe someone can diagnose you. Help. What, Help. Give some I get, symptoms. Like, what is it? It feels like anxiety in my eyes. I'm not anxious at the moment, but like... Like you feel like you need to touch them? Yes, but like everything feels like very sharp. And it like oh, makes right, me I like know. really like anxious the feeling. The sharpness. The sharpness. And it's not like like... It's not like this it's feeling. It's not up there. It's in the it's eyeballs. Like it's in the eyeballs. I've looked it up, or Logan has looked it up. It's, like, an actual thing, but I don't know. If is it, like, sort of a phobia type? Not necessarily a phobia, but, like, in that realm of, like, yeah. something triggers it, and then I feel icky. Yeah, and I don't know why. I, I feel like it recently has, like, been happening at, like, my spiritual center in a specific moment, and I was like, okay, that that's weird. I don't know if it's, like, the We're timing it. or if it's, like, a bright light. Because, I like, there's, like, this part where, like, they put up, like, an affirmation. Mm-hmm. And it's, like, the brightest fucking white that you could ever, like, imagine. And it, like, immediately triggers my eyes. And I'm, like, sitting there, like, trying to see the affirmation with my eyes closed because it, like, bothers the fuck out of me. Interesting. And so, I'm, like, looking around, like, what's bright in here? I mean, we do have a light up, but... But I don't know if that's it. But see, like, the edges are really, like... Icky. Yeah. I don't know how to explain <laughs> me it. Lo- so... Me looking at them, like... <laughs> what are you doing up there, bud? <laughs> so don't mind me. If I'm ever, like, touching my eyes, that's what it is so good to know and if um, anyone has advice on what that is the only advice i got online was like get basically glasses but like that blur your vision and i'm like i don't want to do that, that sounds very counterintuitive and, but a, all right. and a headache it just doesn't sound fun yeah. okay anyways um you feel like i have more of an online presence i mean i feel like because of my baking videos it probably comes across that. No, but i think you like also post like really fun like things throughout the day like like, story-wise, too, you mean? Yeah. Yeah. I feel like you're very story-involved. I do I don't know try. how to do that anymore. Like, it feels very unnatural. Like, does it feel cringe, maybe? Yeah. Like, I don't think anyone cares. Yeah. Yeah. I get that. And then, so, I think I just, like, let go of that feeling. And that's why. Like, but I don't care at the same time. Yeah, you it's don't. Just like, I don't know if I want to share that. Like, it doesn't really matter to me. Yeah, I get that. But I'm like, also, if you want to become a like if you want people to get to know you yeah and like understand who you right you should probably do that yeah 
so it's like the conflict there but the online identity is like very dead at the moment i recently um archived my <laughs> no what do you archive my video on tiktok wait the beach one nope which one the oh. my response because <laughs> i was like this is i don't want this to, to be, be known as your as identity yeah 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 i did unpin my cheating story oh from my profile and you said i want this to be my identity i'm like yes period it did get the most views out of all my tiktoks but it doesn't need to be the first thing people see when they come to my tiktok see so i get that yeah i do i just archived it though and i was like if i ever want it to be back yeah I'll you just that. put it back up but yeah so interesting i just did like i want to be more um active on just posting but like and on tiktok specifically as well so i'm like i don't want that to be like the first thing when they come in yeah what do you want to post on tiktok i'm curious like what do you what what vibes are you feeling like fashion or like home stuff i don't even know girl help me out (laughs) trying to brainstorm for you all of it it could be everything i think it's like my approach is gonna mm. be like i'm not like just calculated on this but it's just like because i'm it's this is where it genuinely is coming from it's yeah. like i don't really know again like i i don't think like even with the stories like i don't know what i want to like post, post or mm-hmm. what i like feel comfortable with or whatever so i think it's also like that is that happens because i don't even know that i personally like enjoy the things that i would be posting if i posted them give me an I'm example no like sense. what would you post like your coffee or something in the morning yeah why i think that's so cute i want to see what your coffee looks like i want to see which mug you use today okay like it's kind of silly to think that because i think people want to know but <laughs> i think the people are wondering i'm just like i don't know and that's the thing is like before when i was like younger i would post like literally the most random shit but like it was genuinely things that i was like oh my god this looks so cool i don't have those moments or those feelings anymore of like oh my god this looks so cool i need to take but a picture is that because you just like blah, blah, blah. your life is just built that way so I think my life is it. built very much like where i don't find like the pieces of like photographable that's not even a word yeah it is picture perfect whatever picture perfect <laughs> picturesque that's the word picturesque um you don't see them anymore? i don't see them anymore mm, that's bizarre tea, right it's big t so like you I lost know, the vision. I lost the vision. I, your eyes are bugging because you lost the I vision. I lost the vision. Oh, no. And, like, it's interesting because I feel like I'm like, is it because we were doing it for so long that I just kind of, You did like, get super burnt out. I got super burnt end. out and I don't yeah. even know anymore, like, what I actually enjoy to look at. Maybe that's a good experiment, experiment. for the month of July. Hello. Happy July 1st. Oh, my God. Every day, take a pic of something you find Cute. interesting. Okay. And it could be anything. Yeah. Because then it'll at least, like, you could be like... Even if you don't like any of the pics you took that day, it'll be like, yeah, I, I'm not going to do that again. I didn't like those ones or whatever. Yeah. And it's funny because, like, I think that's kind of, like, the reasoning of, like, why we had started our business. Like, partly on our own individual, like, senses. Like, for me, it was, like, I was really, like, having fun on my own terms, like, figuring out, like, visions and things like that. And so, like, when we were actually in it, yes, it, we were, like, practicing and developing a skill. And then it became, like okay, this isn't a skill anymore. Like, this is getting tiring. Like, what's the skill? But, like, do. now something I have to do. Yeah. Yeah. I guess it's now I have to, like, I think you exercise have to play. the muscle yeah, a little Yeah, you bit. need to, like, because when we're younger, it's so much easier to play and not care yeah. what the results are because there's nothing tied to it. Like, obviously, for a while, it became tied to, like, money and, like, this brand and, like, not letting down another person. And yeah. it just became so heavy that you're, like, I don't even want to play. Anymore. With my personal self, yeah. And it, it for me, like, it, this is, sounds bad, but it's not, it doesn't, it, I promise, like, it it doesn't actually, like, mean anything. Translate. But, like, I think when I was younger, like, I genuinely, like, was very authentic about, like, all of the stuff that I posted where it felt like this is a part of me. Like, this is what I... Mm-hmm enjoy enjoy and whatever and whether it was like the clothes i was wearing or the like the fucking piece of ice that i took a picture of but like like an ice cube there was like an ice cube photo i I mean it looked cool to me whatever anyways 
But I feel like I was very, I think what I'm trying to say was like all intertwined and like whatever I posted on my social media, like it was stuff that I like liked. Mm -hmm. And now I think it's also like, I don't know what I personally enjoy with like my clothes anymore or like the makeup I'm using or like none of my like day-to-day things that like I used to like find magic in or like the vision in. Like I don't, I don't see, and it's not even that I don't see it anymore. It's just more so like, I don't know if it's like actually something I want to share because I don't know if it's something that like I identify with. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah. Which is just so crazy because you, I walk into your life, like your room and things and I'm like, all these things are so cute. Like so Pinterest perfect and like things you could take photos of and like it's inspiring to others, I guess I'm saying. So Mm -hmm. like, I don't know where that spark isn't sparking. Is it just not, not that necessarily your house is the problem, but like, (laughs) but like obviously you, you get, yeah, I'm like, everything sucks. No, but like, because I mean you guys experiment with makeup and beauty and like it's not like you're not yeah and like redecorating it's not like it's not happening so it it, I feel like it's not that's not the issue then it's just more about like finding it again yeah within yourself yeah but it was so much easier to play when you're younger because it's just like that's all there what was else? to really yeah, think what about. else are we doing go do your homework and then let's go take some photos like I want to take cute pics yeah. Yeah, I don't know, but the online online identity is currently at a lack. What was the last thing you posted? Was it the stop sign pic? I don't think it was a stop sign, but it was outside my car when we went somewhere. I forget where we went. Oh, I think so. Maybe there's another one right before that. Let's see. I have to sneeze. Oh no, it's your birthday. Yeah, there's a ton. <laughs> oh. So there's it's that a ton and... of pics. Um then Coachella, 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 the like... I was pretty consistent for a little bit the Coachella after, after not being consistent well even yeah this is yeah 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 I tried <laughs> not you saying it like I'm judging it like mm. I'm like see the dates <laughs> it's not even <laughs> it's from fucking stop signs of traffic it's a, circle sign <laughs> the it roundabouts close enough I mean but I will say your page does give like personality and like identity you know Thanks. it's not it's not it's not like oh there's just like pictures of her you know what I mean yeah yeah, I fear that. Maybe you're just, like, overthinking. I think I definitely am. I don't really know. I think I'm just going to start just yeah. throwing it out. Yeah, I think so, because coming soon, or it's already up, I was going to post, like, just breakfasts. Breakfasts? 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 <laughs> breakfasts? Because um, it looked cute in my un- um planning, and I was like, oh, I should just, like, put all the breakfasts I've had for the past month or whatever. Cute. And it'd be kind of cute. Even yeah. though, like... If I saw that, maybe I wouldn't necessarily care what someone had for breakfast every day. Like, I really don't. Yeah. But it's just the vibes. And obviously, I'm not going to do, like, 20. It's and I think, but it also down. kind of, like, if we're going to speak, like, on, it's on, on brand. Identity. Like, oh. it's still on I'm identity. Food. Like, your food related in, like, your baking and stuff. It's like, yeah. what does the baker eat for breakfast? <laughs> Nothing super spectacular, let me tell you. <laughs> but. But it might look cute. Just the same thing every day. Two eggs and a piece of toast. Or so it's, like a, it's, a, it's a slide of the same Literally, photo ten times. Kind of funny. I don't think I have that many, but it. That's what I'm saying. Like I'm just like whatever. I'm gonna post it. Yeah. Like who cares? That's true. And you have pics. Maybe your your issue is that a lot of them are pics of you, and you don't want your whole page to be of you. Yeah. Because you have lost the the vision of the it vision all. that you'd want of other things. But you're like, but I don't even know what I like. So what would the other things be? Yeah. I think I'm also like now when I do take try to take like a vision photo. Yeah. I don't know that I like them anymore. Mm. I'm like, oh, maybe I lost the vision. Maybe I lost like the execution of my vision. Like, you know what I mean? I don't For know. me, I'm addicted to point three. Addicted. You mean three? Three. Sorry, three times. Yeah. Point three. I'm like three forward, not yeah. three back. <laughs> three forward. We're zooming in. I just feel like it's a completely different. I agree. I, I love a detailed more like in shot versus. Mm. <laughs> We were just talking about this yesterday, me and Brittany. Oh, my God. Because we were making fun of... Because, okay. We were... (laughs) We loaded up... My weekend has consisted of, like, loading up a fucking, like, dumpster Dumpster, bin of concrete. And we had Logan's sister's friends help us. Obviously, Logan's sister's there, too. And, like, at the end, we're all, like, kind of, like, taking, like, photos of, like, we fucking did that. Yeah. And I'm taking photos of Brittany and her friend, and... Um, Logan just walks by. She goes, make sure you do the 0.5 because, you know, she likes that shit. And I was like, that's so interesting, though, because I feel like millennials and Gen Zers 
are both addicted to a 0. 0.5. Yeah. However, they utilize it very differently. The yeah. online identity is very different because for the millennials, they like to have the weird long legs. The feet. It's the like the zo- long zoomed yeah. legs. Yeah. And the Gen Zers are the head. Head, head up. Head, the head up. So yeah. I was just thinking about like, oh, y'all just want your long daddy long legs out there, right? I think we're in this weird gap in between those two where I, I take them ironically. Yeah. Or, I mean, I'm not even the one taking them, but we've taken the 0.5s. Yeah. I bet ironically, I enjoy from the above. top. Yeah. I don't understand the other side, but, you know, to each their own. I think own. they just want to look long. And I get it. Skinny. Skinny. Skinny era is back. Skinny. Yeah. Unfortunately. In other news. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, yeah. But, like, I think also the problem is when we scroll on Instagram, sometimes it's just so saturated. You're like, I'm not even interested in what anyone's posting. But maybe that's, like an oversaturation of our own following count Uh like maybe the issue isn't that we don't like the content anyone's posting or that we're on it too much maybe yeah maybe you don't need to unfollow anybody you just need to be on it less because sometimes i catch myself just like only looking at the first photo and liking it and moving on because i'm like i can't scroll through all of these but i'm like but why can't you scroll through like what are you doing that's so important yeah you're already on here you're literally wasting time right now just waste more (laughs) yeah so, yeah, the, it, I think we're just at, like, a weird spot in the usage of social media that it makes it hard to, like, want to be posting to it, maybe. It's just, like, too... The zoom out is too much. Yeah. Like, we need to zoom back in and just do. A part of me, like, would really like to, maybe specifically for Instagram, but, like, get, uh, like, rid of any, like, buddy huge... Like Kylie Jenner. Yeah, and just like follow maybe like the couple people actors actually show personality that I like. Yeah. yeah, and maybe like a couple brands that I like, and then oh, the brands ones hard. Those ones are hard because I'm like I want to see what y'all. I got know. Going I'm on. like, what are you selling? Is it on sale? But I, giveaways. <laughs> yeah, but I like I don't. Okay, I don't know if everyone. I'm gonna be for real right now, but like I don't know if everyone still does this, but like you go and like look at your like follower count. Oh yeah. To your like ratio of like who you follow, and I like have this stupid idea that i need to have it at a certain point whatever like, so i'll go like in a, like a number percentage not or like, just, a, like just like it just looks ugly like to me like i just have to like have, if it's like, like a thousand and then like it has to be like 600 right but something. i'm way like my what ratio my ratio is not ratioing like it's what bad it? like, i it's think i'm like high? 1400 on instagram and then like the my the people i follow are like nine almost like a thousand i'm like yeah i don't like enough. following a thousand people no so i've kept it at <laughs> like, like 900 lot. like 98 or 99 every time i see my follow i'm like who am i following no and then because I, a thousand people who that's what i'm saying and so like i'll go into my like least interacted with and there's like all of these celebrities that like, i will never fo- probably fucking meet nor will i yeah. ever like like do well, i really support their projects care? that much also do they fucking care they don't No. so i'm like why don't i just unfollow them i don't yeah. understand yeah so maybe, I do that all the time. Maybe there's, like, a radical thing that I need to do here with, like... Maybe there is, like, a big chop. Because there's, like... I can think of influencers that I like. There's some that, you, like, you follow still because it's, like, oh, like, I was there at the beginning. Yeah. But, like, their current stuff is, like, like, all sponsored yeah. or, like... Or just doesn't resonate anymore. Like, for example, Katie and Desi. If you guys are OG YouTubers... I still really that like is them. That's so interesting that you brought that up because I Why? literally just you... stalked Katie like not too long oh, ago. Really? Yeah. I she she comes up like I do look at her stuff, but I'm just like I don't know that this resonates yeah. with me anymore. Like I I almost just don't care. Still love, still, still support, love support. Yeah. But I'm just like would I see that versus like I like um what's her name? She has a son named Rez. Do you know who she is? No. She just, like, has, like, actual... <laughs> that sounds like I'm about to shave somebody. Her name's Mada? Mada? Okay. Do you know her? Graviette? No, but she looks familiar. She's definitely on TikTok. But, like, her posts just seem, like, normal, like, relatable to me, anyway. Yeah. It's, like... I feel like now it's, like, the... Ra- not, it's, like an, it's not a ratio, but it's, like, the ratio to reality and, like, how far starting... How far you are from my reality. Yeah. It's like yeah. if you're not like in a place where I can see myself being a little bit, like it's no, it's not of interest anymore to me. Yeah, that's kind of how I feel. Because I mean, that's how social media kind of started. Like we were following our friends. It's like, oh my god, she just went to Seven Eleven. Yeah, <laughs> she walked to Seven Eleven with the besties. Yeah, 
too real for that i need to go tomorrow or whatever yeah. so it's like when someone's like in our age group and like just went to the beach i'm like oh, i want to go to the beach you know like it's actually inspiring, inspiring as opposed like, to and then like but then like a big part of me used to be like a person who was really into like high fashion and stuff like mm. that and so i'm like okay uh, that has nothing to do with like kylie jenner and like fucking you know kim kardashian but like yeah at the same time, I'm, like, they are kind of, like, part pieces and parts of that. And, like, I do enjoy seeing some t- sometimes, like, the editorialness of it all. But I'm, like, does it really feed me? But then I'm, like, but I really do <laughs> love fashion. <laughs> the argument so maybe I just, like, follow. I think you just have to pick so which fashion. ones you want to follow. Because it still resonates. Like, it's still close yeah. to your reality. I think it's just being more, like, specific. Yeah. I'm also, like, scared of not being, like, in the know of everything. You know? But I'm like, again. I feel like I'm so out of the know sometimes. Like someone told me about the Huck to a girl. Do you hear that? I don't know who the fuck that is. That's what I said. And apparently everybody knows who that is. Who's she that? did a street interview and the guy asked, how do you keep a guy around? She goes, you got to give him that. Huck. <laughs> I can't do it as good as her, but she, she's like drinking on the streets of like, I think Nashville or something. Right. So she has a little country accent. She's really pretty. And she just says, you got to give him that. Huck. <laughs> <laughs> she, like spit on that thing and she says spit on that thing or something it's just really funny yeah she loses her job which isn't funny she was a preschool teacher but i'm like what it's not like she told the kids that's fucked up like, but i mean you do have to be like very careful when you you're do but teacher. it's also like there's crazy be, like, i don't right? know new new rules new rules there but anyways being in the know, right. So, like, there, we're always going to be out of the know in some ways. And that's okay. That's okay. Because then we're in the know in our personal lives, you know what I Also, mean? I think that that kind of is so toxic. Because I'm like, what? But, the, like, the, like, needing to be in the know. Mm. Because also, like, at the end of the day, it leaves you, when you don't know everything, mm-hmm. you, like, are left with the availability to ask questions and communicate mm-hmm. and, like, have a discussion about something that you prior didn't know about right because instead of like you're just walking into a room like i know everything yeah doesn't it kind of suck when like all your friends are like oh yeah i saw that and then the conversation ends because it's like well we've probably beaten this horse to death because i've already seen that tiktok yeah but it's also like yeah i think it is a lot to be in the know all the time because then it's like why do i know everything like i don't we can't talk about it. We anything can't talk about We've anything. all seen it all. And I feel like I see that a lot with like LA culture. Mm. Like people who knew me at like clubs or bars or like like little influencer events. Like everybody yeah. pretends to know everything. Yeah. Yet at the end of the day, I think because it's like a fake, a false sense of connection. Yeah. Like we're on the same feed. We're all in. Yeah, we're all in the same feed in the like the online world. But it's like okay, what does that even mean? What does that even mean? Yeah. I don't know. Change of mindset. Online identity. Maybe you don't need one. <laughs> heavy, heavy. I think the online identity is just like being as close, for me, being as close to my... Reality. I want to say authentic, but I, I like anything online is never going to be fully it's, authentic. It's a it little... Just can't. I mean, yeah, it just can't be. Like even this podcast, like how are we going to make it fully authentic if we... Not that we edit anything out really, but just like that we come to get ready, choose a topic, like we're not going to sit here if we're in a bad mood and just stay in the bad mood. Yeah. So, like, there's always some sort of... Work, not work around, but, like, a filtering of such. Yeah, because we know what's going online. Yeah. And that's for anyone posting anything online. Or at least it should be. Sometimes yeah. some people need to put a little filter on, like, that shit. Like, calm down. But, yeah. But, uh, yeah, just being as authentic as possible online, I think, is... I think you either have to live in two worlds, like as authentic as you possibly can online Mm -hmm. or you go the complete like dream world dream like even even like absurd world where like tanda mojo at one point was like you know editing her photos to be all crazy and she knew they were crazy yeah like it's just giving she said but it's camp basically it's it's camp (laughs) yeah yeah and there's a market for both i don't know because i think about it and like i don't follow tana but i still obviously know about her and see her things yeah and like love the idea of it all i only follow her on tiktok i don't even think i follow her there that's the also a different key of of the platform of of the platforms is like i feel like people have now like maybe as like i'm I'm just gonna talk as like a consumer like Mm -hmm. my two platforms like the identity that i like i relate to on instagram feels more like curated and things like that and then on like in on tiktok like I choose to follow whoever the fuck, like, is of interest to me. Like, the amount of Taylor Swift 
people I follow for no fucking reason. Just you just want to be in the know. Follow. Uh, follow. Yeah. I'm <laughs> like, oh, you have great information. Follow. And yeah. it's like, I would never do that on my Instagram. Also, the ratio does not matter on TikTok. No. I don't even want to look at my ratio. Mine's awful. Yeah. I don't I don't even know what it is, but it's probably awful. But like, it's because I don't pay attention to my following. Like, I've sure followed just do. hot guy from 2020. <laughs> and he's probably just lurking in my little fault. And I have no idea. I forgot yeah. about him entirely. Yeah. Or like the cooking accounts that I probably was like, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. I'm a follow. And then never did I need yeah. Or a girl who had one good piece of advice. And then I was like, oh, I'm going to follow her. Yeah. But it is more authentic. We've we've been saying that. Like, TikTok is like feeling more of a, it's like free flowing thought. Yeah. Space. What made me think of that though was like mm. the Tana situation specifically. I do not follow her on Instagram, but I follow her on TikTok. It's and I'm like, because I like it's... what she's talking about on TikTok. Yeah. And that's also, I guess, like a part of if this is coming from someone's like personal branding or like a brand's perspective, like it does have to be more personality forward posting yeah. on TikTok. It can definitely still be like I think it's just like bigger both, picture, like bigger but... ideas. Yeah. But at the same time, like it could also be like the big idea is just being very candid or like the comment section yeah. is also where a lot happens with brands too yeah or people or the algorithm period also that's true like the algorithm oh, these rules we're not gonna get into all that but like yeah you know, really likes things and doesn't like other things so like like how do people who have zero interest in being viral or like go viral or like yeah like the people who don't care about that at all like do they just see this conversation as, like, null and void? Like, what are you guys talking about? Like, just Probably. post what you want? Yeah. But then I see it, and I'm like, that's so millennial. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what's so millennial? Like, like, when someone posts something that's just, like, not oh, with the times. You know what I mean? You know when, like, you just, like, are scrolling on TikTok, and you're like, why did this show up for me? Yeah. The other day, there was, like, this, like, random woman. Love it. Zero likes, zero comments, Aww. zero everything. They wanted you to see it. It was just like this like slow-mo video of her like singing a song with like the craziest filter on and I was like, okay. Like you said I almost want to give it a like. Like that <laughs> Wow. Did Not you go to for her me. page at all? No. I just was like wanna know if she's like trying. Like that's her her strategy to just keep doing there those kinds of videos. There is some people who just like try like that. But it's not like I want to go viral, but it's like I would like a like or two. You know what I mean? It's like okay. Yeah. It's a very interesting world. But, like, also, I'm like, what makes me the one in the know of social media? And I'm like, oh, it's only my job. But, like, (laughs) (laughs) it's my job. It's part of my job. But, like, I just feel so pretentious being like, that's not how you're supposed to use this app. Do you know what I mean? I mean, I would never say that. No, of course not. I would say, though, if your goal is to be seen, this is probably what you do. We should switch up the strategy. Right. Let's switch up the strategy. But I'm not going to tell you how to use... The internet is the internet. You, you can use, use it however you, you want. want. Yeah. yeah. Well, if Black you want to be chill. seen, don't be buying stuff in the. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Don't be. Anyways, <laughs> talk about like the. Talk about like TikTok. TikTok. Use <laughs> use the apps however you want. Uh. Yeah. Oh my god. The other day. Oh no. <laughs> Logan and I were, were Logan. We're scrolling on Logan's, and I swear to like God. Like together, or like on the screen. Together. Crazy. I don't have a partner, so I'm just like I don't know how that works. Well, like, I think we were probably like laying down or something. She was on it. And I was just like looking. Yeah, I was like, no looking. Tea. And like we saw came up. somebody doing the nasty, but it wasn't like direct. Like they found a workaround where like the algorithm or whatever the fuck sees the things. Like it, it was like you could see them through like their 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 um like, like their sliding door like reflection okay got it got it got it it was two men it's two men yeah and i was like this and is that crazy. just came up like yeah. through the feed yeah i was like that <sighs> it's just so out here for thoughts. there's like so many kids on here. i was literally thinking like the children and that for that reason alone How, I, I dislike i'm like that this, it's happening for real i'm like children are gonna see so this. many people were watching also gifting <laughs> like it was it's a thing that I feel like they Maybe did. there's like an 18 and up feature on there. No. But think. kids lie anyway. Yeah. Kids are saying they're 25. But it doesn't whatever. matter like at the same time like why are we using this app for that? Right. Again, I'm some of this policing what the app is for. <laughs> but like <laughs> But like for real. But no like for real because it's just the kids. I mean like Also, I don't want to see that. Like 
this is my safe space. Like, yeah, this is where I come for porn. <laughs> it's so crazy. A lot of thoughts. Where? A lot of thoughts. Oh my god! And I'm also just like on weird sides of TikTok where like there's this girl Narali. I think that's her name, Narali. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The one with like the baby daddy who's like. Yeah, 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 whatever. Yeah. You told us the rundown. Go Wait. find that episode. <laughs> She's, like, going through it. And, like, I don't... I think it's a bit. But I'm also, like, I'm unsure. And I'm just, like, you're you literally... she might be lying? Yeah, I'm, like, you're just, like, literally making... If it's a bit, like, you're just making people worried for you. And it, it just, oh, like... that's not cool. The ethics are just so weird what, what people would do for money. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. Not for me. But, but like, also crazy. the people who... Like, couples who, like, make... I don't want to like, be a hater, but like for like me, what? it's like extra cringe when it's just like you guys are acting out a bunch of stuff all the time. Yeah, couples specifically yeah. couples. I don't know why. Like sim- single people by themselves, or like or just people who create content that's not with their co- like it just like sitting down and going, "Kebab okay, today, we're gonna record this." It just feels so icky to me. Every piece of like couple content, maybe not every piece, but like. Like when you go to their ones? page, just like when you go to their page and it's all acting videos of them just doing a skit. Yeah. I don't know. No, it, I, 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 I get, like. I get the money. I get it. Don't, I'm not saying quit or be embarrassed because fuck that. But for me personally, not my, not as a consumer. I don't like watching it. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. I just don't like watching it. And that's fine. <laughs> like I like the candid like little things of couples. What do you mean? Like, like I'm also trends? like, I think like hetero people just gross me out. <laughs> so that's just my problem. But like, is it? The- it's not on my feet anymore, thankfully. Oh. But like, I love seeing, and maybe it's just cause, like, I want representation. Yeah. But like, I literally see like women with their children, like wives with their children. Yeah. And their families or like two women like but getting married. But that's not weird. To or me. like. It's the things where they're like pretending to be my husband for a day you know what i mean like that shit <laughs> that exists yes uh, it's like pretending to be my husband for a day and then they like leave hair on the sink and then they like throw their sandals and i'm like oh and, like i get it shareability relatable whatever but i'm just like you sat there and recorded that what about like the like guess whose outfits whose have you seen those I have, I have. Does that exist for straight people? Yeah, but I, I've seen, like, mostly, like, best friends do it. Mm. So, like, two girls with different aesthetics, and you're not sure. Yeah. But I don't like them anymore because they never tell you which is the right one. <laughs> and so I'm like, why the fuck am I even going to guess if you're not going to tell me? Yeah, like, this is the game, and I don't I need know to if win I or lose. Like, I don't know if I won. <laughs> this is just open-ended, and I hate that. Oh, uh, anyway. We're getting so... A little sidetracked. I can see why that's interesting for, like, gay couples, though. I can see that. Yeah. But still, do they tell you? No. Fuck that. It's just a... It's but for then... Fun, it's for funsies. But then sometimes I see they're like, oh, I know them so well. Obviously, it's one and two. Or whatever. Like, okay. And I'm like, okay, well, I guess that's... Hmm, I guess that's I, the answer. I guess I'm not a fan. Literally never seen uh, them. Yeah, I don't know. It's just funny. <sighs> Living online is a weird place to live. We do need to touch some grass collectively. And we've been saying that since probably COVID days. Yeah, I think we started to all touch grass. And then yeah. immediately we were like... Ugh yeah back on my bullshit you know and i think that's what i'm talking about like, i think we need like all to do like a mass and following i think so because it just became so oversaturated yeah. or at least just like be more intentional about your time on the Online. apps because i i'm telling you i'll be mid conversation with somebody and then it stops and i'm like I guess i'll check instagram I'm like why i'm yeah. sitting in a room with maybe ask this a question. question yeah like ask a question or like get up to do something important <laughs> get up to get water i don't know you know yeah we use it as a crutch socially i think yeah like when we have anxiety and then we're not actually consuming anything we're just distracting cracking codes one episode at a time and then like my problem is like the like when i want to go on tiktok okay t- lit- lately for tiktok i just like really just want to only get like information for from swifties <laughs> so like I will go on there and, like, I'm, like, scrolling, hopefully, like, fucking getting the next like, Swifty the switch, video. Switch, switch, switch. And then, like, none of them come up. And I'm, like, watching all this bullshit. And I'm, like, <gasps> okay. No. Might I as don't... well just go to the pages I like. You're, like, let's pretend. That's true. You're just going to a website. Right. <laughs> for the information you need. And if it's not there, you move on. Like, I used to do that with Teffy. Like, yes. has she done her the series? series yet? No. Okay. I'm leaving yeah. TikTok. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I was going to say, like, when people are watching sad stuff. 
I can't get Hope invested. Core. Yeah, I can't get I, invested. Like, like I literally, Katie started bawling, crying. And I was like, don't show me that. <laughs> like, I don't want to hear about it. I don't want... Because also, I love it on one hand, for sure. Two, you have to be in the right mood, I think. And three... Like, it can be really, maybe, like, not detrimental to your mental health necessarily, but just, like... No, it is. Like, exhausting. Like, to hear about these people you don't know, you're never going to get a follow-up on. Like, there's enough tragic things happening in people I know's lives that, like, hearing about, like, doom-scrolling through all of that is, like, wow, life feels it's a kind lot of, of hopeless like, now. Or, like, yeah, maybe hopeful for some people, but for me, I just get really sad. It's, like, an energetic suck mm-hmm. for your own life. No, that's yeah. definitely true. And I think, like, the biggest piece of, like, TikTok specifically, I mean, you can get that from Instagram, too, but, like, TikTok specifically is, like, if you are in that realm of, like, doom scrolling, like, you could for one one minute literally be looking at someone's tragic story. The next minute you're looking at, like, something that's, like, really intensive, addicting, like, high dope, like, you're, like, dopamine and everything mm-hmm. just, like, all of your, your body is, just, like, like going through up a bunch. Up and down, up yeah. and down. That's true. And that's just like, that's what's really And it also feels health. fake. Yeah. Like when you go one minute to crying and the next one's something really funny or like something really cool, you like instantly forget about that other thing. And it's like, whoa, 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 meant- I didn't get to sit through that We're feeling. not meant to, to be so quick to change on our emotions like that. That's insane. Are we all just like giving ourselves mental illness? Like... <laughs> I think we are low key like like slowly. There needs to be like some actual like rules. Reasons, I think yeah. with the intake of social like twenty years from now, there's going to be studies on us. Yeah, on like the overconsumption of social media. There's going to be whole documentaries on that. I'm sure scientists are already looking at our generation and like. I think the, the past below us is probably even more fucked. <laughs> you know. No. Yeah. Because it's absolutely. just like a norm for them. Like, we were the last generation to understand what it was like to play outside. Yeah. As the norm. As, like, the only The option, only option. Really, yeah. Or TV. With, yeah. Or games, video games. But, like, even then, it but was, it, like, pretty normal. But it, it was, like, dictated by somebody else giving us content versus us, like... Also having making it, it, too. Yeah, but also, like, having it at our fingertips at all times like disposable at all times because well, that's why we had kids like can't have phones we had like disney channel but you knew like on fucking friday that at 8 that's p.m the movie. That's, that's the, the original movie that everyone wants to see so you go and watch it <laughs> kind of crazy we didn't do like movie nights as friends I like know. anybody no like, I, just, I, didn't, I was like oh i can't hang out i need to go home and watch the original camp rock too literally camp rock too is out tonight y'all watching it it's probably because it was on wednesdays and shit probably wasn't weekends no it probably wasn't you're right but anyways yeah i don't think for that reason, like, if we're confused as adults... I can't imagine. Like, yeah, kids should not have social media. Maybe a phone if it's, like, you know, Firefly phone or whatever. You can't access social media on it, sure. It has four buttons to call. Exactly. It has four buttons. It's yours and whoever's phone numbers. Yeah. That's just, scary. I don't know how we got here. The online identities, though. Yeah. It's just scary being online and... It always ends up being the trickle down. The trickle I don't know. Down. Yeah. yeah. Just being authentic and following people, I guess, authentically, like who actually bring you some sort of inspiration or joy. Yeah. Because sometimes I, I struggle with deciding if someone does or not. Because they too. post one or two things that You're I like. like oh, I like that. And then other things are like fully irrelevant. But is it like, like, do you like it or does it feed something for you? Because mm. if it's not feeding something, then what's the point, right? Like, here's an example. I follow this girl who used to be on Bon Appetit, and okay. she's, a, she's just, like, a chef. Yeah. And she's pregnant right now, and she was on Times Square for a lactation cookie recipe or, like, something to that effect. That's cool. Um, but they took it down because her her boobs are not showing. She has cookies over her boobs, and she's, yeah. like, shirtless because she's her pregnancy. And so she has cookies over her boobs, and they took it down because people were complaining, I guess, or somebody, whatever. But then... Fuck, I should remember the name of the company. But then that company paid to put it back up. Oh. Like, they said, mm, we're going to put that back up there. Like, That's here's crazy. the money to get it back up. And I don't remember who it was. But either way, she's, like, slightly... Like, that's such an interesting story. I'm so glad I know it. But then at the same time, I'm like... Does that do anything for you? Does that do anything for me? But then I'm like, she'll post something really cute. Like, a recipe that's really cute on Instagram... Or on 
um, YouTube and, and then I find out about it through her Instagram. It's like, well, then that's feeding you some yeah. at some point. And you're just getting some... Some other cute little things in between. <laughs> some cute little information otherwise. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, there's probably people that follow us and they're like, yeah, the podcast, I don't want to listen to it, but, but I like everything them. else is cute. Listen, stay. <laughs> stay. <laughs> stay. Hang out. Maybe listen to the podcast. Just saying. Well, you're here, so you did. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think that's it for this episode. Yeah. We're going to close out. But uh, if you've gotten to the end of this, thank you for being here. Make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe. Subscribe. Jesus. <laughs> subscribe and follow our pages, our podcast like pages, whatever platform you're on. Um, and if you haven't already, give us a review and a little rating. Um, and then also just go and follow our social media accounts. We care a lot pod on yep. Instagram and TikTok. That's going to be it for this episode. We'll catch you guys in glowing hour. Bye. Bye.